everyone today i'm coming come on to join in the smart doll collaboration which is it's either smart doll or um bjd doll is that right bjd yeah it's either a, it can be any doll you like you know as long as it's sort of this size smart doll size she's 24 inches so it could be a big barbie you know it can be a bjd any doll you like and the brief is to dress your doll in paper just paper and um i thought i'd come on and show you how i did it i've drawn a little now i'm no artist i'm rubbish at drawing but this is sort of the idea that i've got can you see that it's going to be red and pink and it's going to be a little short dress with an over the shoulder strap on one side so that's sort of what i want to do and these are the papers that i've got i've got tissue paper i wanted to layer it up so before i started i got some uh printer paper and cut it into strips just cut strips off like this and then i've wrapped it all around just the plain white paper wrapped it round and taped it you know taped it on there a little bit of tape, just like that so you can see i've covered a where I'm, where I'm going to attach the dress to her. I didn't want to attach the dress directly to her. And I, if it runs or anything, this white paper will protect her body. So that's how I've done it. You could also put a body stocking on or anything like that. But do just be careful that you don't stain your doll. That's all I'm saying. So yeah, that's this is the sort of the shape of the dress I want. Maybe a little bit longer. So let's see how we can do this. I was thinking we could have the pink sort of as an underskirt and then the red and white as the overtop. It's um, Minnie Mouse as well. So it's meant to be sort of for Valentine's, you know, a Valentine's dress. But I thought, oh, this would be so sweet, won't it? The Minnie Mouse. I love it. And I did struggle to find, um, you know, anything else really. So I'm go I've got, I think, one, two, I've got like five layers of tissue paper here. And I'm going to use all five layers because I want it to be really poofy. So I'm going to measure where I want it to come down to. And I'm going to cut it straight across. So I'm going to cut it straight across here. And I've got, I don't need to measure it because I can see where the Mickey Mouses are or Minnie Mouses. I can cut right across there like that. I could have had bigger scissors, of course. That might have helped. <laughs> I'm going to use sellotape and I'm going to start at the back and I'm going to pleat it rounder. So I'm going to stick it on just here at the back. I like how it's poofing out, you see, like that. And I want this bit to be a little bit longer than the red. So it's sticking out like an underskirt underneath, like a, a um, you know, a net underskirt. And I'm going to just pleat it as I go like this. Look, put little pleats in it. Can you see? Let's lay her down to do it. Oh, turn your head back round, babe. Yeah. I'm going to put little pleats in it. So I'll start with one right here. We'll do a little pleat just here and then tape that on. Use plenty of tape. You've got your, your paper there to tape it to. So it doesn't have to be difficult. Just, you know, keep on when you tape him. That's how I'm doing it. So if you wanted to put a paper skirt or even a fabric one, you know, this is how you could do it. You could do the same thing with fabric. It would it would still work. So round we go. I must be careful to make sure I've got enough paper else I'm going to end up with not having my skirt too short, aren't I? Let's just get that stuck on there. That's it. Can you see how it's sticking out? That's what I wanted it to do. So, yeah, I'm pleased about that. I'm going to put plenty of... Like I say, plenty of tape. This is the first time I've ever done this. So, you know, I'm learning along with you. <laughs> and then a pleat here. Yeah, it's nice. There's lots of tissue here. Don't worry about what the pleats look like. You're not going to see these. They're going to be, un, you know, 
underneath the red they're just here to like poof the dress out you see what i mean give it some body and you'll see the bottom bit that's all you'll see a little bit of the bottom where it's um sticking out from under the dress that's the idea can you see how it's going it looks nice doesn't it that looks nice on its own maybe i don't need to put any red on it <laughs> let's see what's happening here oh there we go that's better so I've been meaning to do this for ages, you know, and all I do is, is fan me about all day. It's all I do. I, can, I think, oh, I must get this on. I must get that done. But these tablets that I'm on, they just make you in a world of your own. They really do. I just can't, you know, seem to concentrate on anything or, oh, I'm just terrible. I, I say that's what I do. I fan me about all day. <laughs> all day. But anyway, today I've decided I'm going to fan me about and get this done. There we are, look, so that's, let's just tape that bit down. Oh, I love that as it is, look at that. Oh, she could go and play tennis in that, couldn't she? Look at that, oh, I love that. And it's all foofed out like I wanted it to be, look. Ah, oh, it's lovely, you look so sweet, Lorelei, you do. And now we'll do the bodice bit, but the bodice I'm gonna do in the red and white and the dress as well. So I'm going to do the body separate and then the skirt, I'm just going to wrap around and not pleat it because I don't need to pleat it because this is all pleated. I just need to do it quite loose so that, and I need to make sure you can see this peeping out underneath. And then I need to do the frill over the shoulder. So for the bodice, we'll get one piece of paper. You don't need a whole sheet for this. See how long we want the bodice to be. About to there, I think. Yeah, because and then I can put the skirt over the top of it. So that's what we'll do. We'll go down to there. I can always cut a bit off if it's too long. I may fold it in half with it being tissue paper. It might, mind you, she's got that white underneath. I'm not sure she maybe won't need it. Let's see. We'll cut this off and then we'll see how we get on. This may be all right for the skirt as well. I'm not sure. Is that going to be long enough for the skirt? If I pop that round like that, this is the sort of thing I'm wanting to do, just a little sort of... No, it's not going to be long enough for the skirt, I don't think. Right, let's do the, the bodice bit. I'm going to turn the top bit over like that. Just turn it over a bit at the top to make it a bit tidier. And then I'm going to go round to the back like this and we're going to tape it where we want it at the back and pop a bit of tape on there like that and then I can cut it cut this off like this so that it's the right width and then I can you won't see this bit when you've got the skirt over it. So then I can put this over the top like that. And then at the front, you need to make some tucks. So come down from a bust and make a little pleat like that. Try and put it inside. Tuck it under like that and like that. See, and then you've got a little pleat. Tuck it, tuck it under and then pleat it like that and pop a little bit of tape there. If you pop the tape at the bottom it'll be hidden under the skirt like that same with this side but go the other way tuck it under there and then make it flat like that okay yeah and then we can tape that as well right down where the skirt's going to be there we are yeah and then um oh i do love that so much you know I'm wondering if I ought to just leave that as the skirt and put a, like a, a, a ribbon round there. See if we can turn this into a ribbon. I think if we 
fold this up like fold it into four fold it so it's into the middle like that and then fold it in half again we'll have like a little ribbon won't we yeah and then we can put that around her waist to cover up all the gubbins like that oh i actually quite like it like that i think i might leave it like that and then we hopefully we can tie a little bow at the back here because we've made it um quite thick i think we might be able to tie a little no actually i think i'm going to make it longer so that i can uh, this one actually might go in a hair mind it does that go in a hair? I don't think it has to go round so far to go in a hair, does it? Let's see, let's try it. Oh, I don't know, I think her waist is, is probably thinner than her head, isn't it? Let's see. Well, let's sit her down a minute. Oh, sit down, Laura Light. That's it. And then try making this bow. If, if it uh, isn't long enough, I can always cut a longer piece. Yeah, I think I might have to cut a longer piece for this, but I'm thinking that I can cut it longer and make a bow. I can make a big bow at the back and probably a bow at the front as well. Yeah, that, yeah, that, it does, just needs to be a bit longer. So let's do that. So I'll we'll cut it the full length and remember we're going to fold it in four. So make sure you cut it wide enough to fold into four. And then it should make a lovely big bow. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it like that because it just looks so pretty. I might even do the ruffle over her shoulder in pink as well. And then I'll do her a bow in her hair and a bow round her waist in the red and white. Yeah. And as I say, everything I'm doing with this paper, you could do with fabric. Yeah, I know this is for, a, we're doing a smart doll collaboration and it's for a paper dress. So, but you could do the same thing with, pa with fabric that I've done with this paper. It's a shame I haven't got some just, just red fabric. I would have put that round the waist and that. I don't think I've even got any red napkins or anything I could use. Any red, you know, I could colour some red paper in but I'm really worried about staining a body. That's why I won't colour it, you know, use coloured in paper. That's why I'm using this. I'm hoping that once I've got this bow made, let's lie her down so you can see better. I'm hoping that once I've got this bow made, I can like pull it out a bit, un, you know, unfold it a bit to make it look a bit bigger. That's what I'm going to try and do. Uh, I don't know if I can do that, but let's just try. Oh yeah, you can, we can get that out of there. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that looks lovely. And I can do the same with this. Just open it up and like that. And then we'll cut it. I mean, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. The, the idea is that you're joining in a collaboration, you're showing your dolls off, you're doing something, you know, with a lot of other people in the community and people will come and watch your videos and hopefully they'll like and subscribe and um, leave you a little comment. It's all about, you know, making new friends and it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't. It, you, it, the idea is that you enjoy doing it and uh, you can see all the people doing it, see how they've done it. 
you make a few friends yeah that's it this is a it's the sort of thing marna has been doing for years years in fact not even months years and uh, yeah we're doing the sort of the same thing but with our smart dolls today <clears throat> Well, we are if I can get this to open up. I can't get this side to open up so much. Open up a bit, but not. Oh, here we go. Look, that's it. And then that side's torn a bit as well, so I might tear that side as well, so it looks like a double. There we go. Look, look how pretty that looks now. Oh, I really like that. Why is her head so loose? Why is your head so loose, Lorelei? So let's also tape this bit down. I'll just tuck it under a little bit like that so you can't see the edge. And it, so it looks like a pleat then, doesn't it? And I'll just tape it a bit more at the top. There we go. And then do we want a bow at the front? I was thinking maybe a little tiny bow there. What I want is red, really. Red, but I haven't, like I said, I haven't got any red paper, I don't think. I'm trying to think if I have. Oh, raffia. I might have some red raffia. Now that's paper, isn't it? Yeah, let's have a look at that. Yes. Found my red raffia. So I wanted to do just a small bow at the top there. And raffia is literally like this, but on a smaller scale and then wound onto a ball. So it is just paper. It's like, um, it's just like tissue paper, look, that's been folded up and then rolled into a ball and I use it in my journals but yeah you could I can use a piece of that to make her a little bow for the top here and I'm wondering about putting a little piece not as broad as that maybe not quite as broad as that but um maybe if I keep it folded in half maybe putting a little bit around the waist there as well let's see so let's do her a bow for the top of the dress first Yes, I forgot about my raffi. I think I've got it in pink as well as red, so yeah. And she goes, I can't get to her drawer to get her any nice shoes out. <laughs> I'll have to see what I can find. So let's turn this into a bow. that's really pretty isn't it I'm going to stick that on there like that so I'm going to just make it a bit smaller the tails a bit smaller let's get some glue blob on the on the bow and just glue it to the top there like that There we are. Now I need to do the ruffle over the shoulder and I'm, I can't decide whether I need to have a bit of red. That might look, yeah, I might do that. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I think I will do that. Um, I'm just going to cut a length of it and just um, pop it around her waist like that. I just think it adds a little extra bit to it, doesn't it? I'll just tape it underneath the bow. that go right the way round and tape it at this side as well and it's under the bow so I don't know why her head's so swivelly let's cut this raffia off there we go 
Oh, that one's come off now. Oh, where am I? What's happening with your frock, look? There we are. Oh, I really like that. So now let's do the frill over the shoulder. So how wide do we want this frill to be? I think that's going to be... I think this is going to be maybe two layers of it. And I want it... Mm, not much wider than that I don't think so I'm going to cut this she says after she's lost her scissors I'm going to cut this like this down here a little bit wider than that than I want it because I'll show you in a minute so cut that all the way down this is what I do I get all my stuff out and it's all over the place I make a real mess and then I tidy it up after and that's what I do so uh, yeah, and then I'm going to fold this before I put it on. So I'm going to fold this bit over like that, just that extra bit. I'm just going to turn a bit over at the top. And then I'm going to just do little pleats all the way along like this. Look, turn this bit over as well. And then just do little pleats like this. All the way along. Ah. And we'll stick them on the back. Keep going. My uh, papers come out of sync. It's not folded right. Oh, here we are. That's better. All right, we'll just keep going. Right, let's put a bit more tape on there if you were doing it with cloth you could stitch it you see but aren't we're just doing it with the tape because it's paper if you did it like this you could do it like this on your sewing machine or by hand and stitch it and it would hold into place you just have to stitch along the top there let's have a look how it's coming yeah i think it'll be all right if it's not, we'll, we'll start again. It's only paper. Don't, you know, don't worry and fret about it. If it doesn't look right, we just won't use it. It's as simple as that. Remember, it's supposed to be fun. You're supposed to be enjoying yourself. It doesn't matter if you haven't made a, a paper dress and you think, oh, well, actually, I could do that. It doesn't matter if you're a couple of days late. It doesn't matter. Just say what you do, you know, join in. You can do that with any of the collabs, I'm sure. Um, I know I do with some of the... Um, reborn doll things i'll you know i'll often be a couple of days late it doesn't matter just um pop um penny gainer and myself's channels names into your title or description and we'll come over and have a look i will put uh, penny and gainer's channels in my title or description so that you can pop over and see their videos too i'm excited to see what everybody's done there we go so now i've got it it's not quite straight, but it doesn't matter. It's meant to be like an, a ruffle, it's meant to look like, um, say, net or something like that. You know, a piece of uh, net fabric. Right, I'll turn that there. Do that like that. Tape it at the back. I'm a bit slapdash I am. A, you know, I'm, I, it doesn't have to be perfect for me. I mean, sometimes it annoys me, but I think it'll be all right. So it's going to go over like this. We're going to tape it it in there like that I'm not entirely sure I'm going to stick it to it actually <laughs> and we'll go round the back oh look at the size of that isn't that a perfect size wow I couldn't have done that any better if I'd measured it and I didn't measure it did I terrible <sighs> so stick that down there we we'll come over the shoulder and then we can I want to sort of stick it there but yeah I don't know if I've put a bit of glue no, I don't want to put glue too near a body, so I'm just going to use, I'm just going to tape it. Yeah. Pop, pop a bit of tape on it, that'll do. There we go. Just to, you can't see the tape anyway, can you? So that is my dress. What do you think, Lorelei? You look beautiful. Do you know that? You really do look beautiful. I wonder if I should put a little bow on here as well, a little red bow. Let's make one and see. I don't have to pop it on if I make it and I don't like it, do I? 
let's have a look so i'm thinking like a little bow just a little bow there what do you think i think i might need to just tape that down behind that bow a bit as well i think i feel like it's not quite on there tight enough let's just pop a little bit more tape on there yeah so what do we feel about the bow i think she could have it couldn't she or could she have it on a waist no she don't want it on a waist i think yeah i think i'll pop it up there I'll put a bit of glue on it yeah she's, uh, she doesn't look very uh ready to go out on the town with her socks on does she these were our generation socks that i just took in for to make a little pair of slouch socks yeah i love them they're nice for when she's lounging around in a lounge suit but today she's getting all fancy these are from i'm sure they're from aliexpress yeah I'm sure they are I might be a bit big on her but i think they'll be okay they've got this um round the ankle so we can tighten that up with that can't we yeah they're a little bit big but i think they'll be okay i don't think they've ever been on anybody to be honest i don't know whether i bought them or was gifted them because my friend kirsty gave me a lot of things for my my doll she really is very generous and she gives me so much stuff it's amazing um, and yeah, when she gave me my smart doll, because she did, she um, she gifted it to me. I, I can't believe, you can't believe it, can you? I was so thrilled. Absolutely delighted. So yeah. <sighs> right. Here she is. So I found her some little silver shoes. There, look. Oh, she does look amazing, doesn't she? Yeah. So that is, let's put her hair down as well. She's got a little necklace. She always wears that necklace. I love it. And then these little bracelets are from Timu. And they're actually rings. You, you're supposed to wear them as rings. I'll show you. But it just is a little beaded, a little beaded, uh, a little beaded ring. You meant to wear it as a ring like that but i thought oh wow they'll make really good smart doll bracelets and in fact they do and i think they'd fit on 18 inch dolls as well i'll put the two together i think so that is her she's supposed to be on a red carpet but she's on a blue one instead today <laughs> yeah so I, I wanted to go through the process and show you how i'd done it in case you wanted to do one yourself as i say it doesn't matter if you do one on your few days late um it doesn't have to be perfect it just has to be fun so yeah uh, that is the collaboration that i've done with penny from playful reborns it was penny's idea and she asked gainer and i if we would like to join in because she knew that we had um bjd dolls and smart dolls i've got aliexpress bjd dolls i could have used one of them you know i have just given her hair a really good brush and then i put it up just to do the do the dressmaking so there she is she's all ready to go out on the town that is my girl in her dress i hope you enjoyed that thank you for watching bye for now